What's up? This channel now is till I come back to you this evening. And I want to talk about planning slash mm, prepping for a cookout. Now, as you know, a lot of us like to go to cookouts, like they had go to events that the workplace is having and so forth. Now, if a menu or a list is put up asking you to bring X, Y, Z items, what you're going to bring, what you're going to do, you put your name on that. Then, it's, everything is supposed to go according to plan. Hmm. But as you, we know, that's not always the case. So, we was trying to figure out what was your thoughts on this. If you're invited to a cookout or a gathering, and you're told that you and your guests must bring something, and you and you and the guests say, "Okay, that's cool, that's fine," well, they tell you that you and your guests must bring something before, so that you and your guests can eat. So the you you tell the guests, well, you know my phone's limited, so um, if I buy the stuff that we got to bring to the party, that's gonna cut into our drinking money. <laughs> so the guests like, hmm? cut into the drinking money, but you already knew that you had to bring something to come, well, to be able to eat with with the rest of the people at the gathering. So it's like, is I'm going to go to the gathering for free and just drink my cocktail? Or is I'm going to pay so that I can eat and drink off others on the slit? But see, then the person that you bring in can't drink on the slit because nobody knows them. So they're going to be like, who's the motherfucker you think he's going to drink on me? <laughs> Another thing, why people volunteer themselves for stuff they know they don't want to do? If you don't put your list, no your name on no list, tonight like you bringing no baked beans, you drinking no chicken, you bringing no ribs, you bringing no sausage. Then a week or the two days before the event, you reneging, you MIA, nobody can't find you. You got a thousand ten excuses on why you can't do. It. Which things do come up? I will say this. So I don't nobody. And let me throw this out. This, this video is not directed towards any certain group of people or anyone. This is just general talk coming from Channel 99 is still alive. Just in case we ever see this video may feel that this is directed towards them, that's not the case. So it's like and me personally, if I'm going to something they're having, I'm not a big eater. So I'm not I don't mind bringing stuff but I stop and get me something to eat because I know that I'm not trying to tote no plates home and I'm not trying because I'm not the, I'm not into it. I just want to go have a good time, mingle, do what I'm going to do and go home to the house. But when you start, uh-uh, ooh, 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 before I go on. The main people saying they're not gonna come, they know they don't fool with nobody, they don't attend these events. Be up the fur one down and looking to eat. Where you do that at? You say you don't you don't, you don't fool with nobody. But then you don't wanna contribute, you don't wanna pay what you want to eat. Then get mad with somebody looking at you looking at you say, but you ain't putting in on this, this shit ain't cheap. And I don't know why folks feel this stuff for that for some reason that they could just eat for free, free and they ain't gotta cut you got mm, as they say you gotta pay to lay, you gotta pay to eat. You just can't be bombing out folks or thinking that you V I P, Queen Elizabeth, Print Die, Nick and this Nicki Minaj, and that you just got it like that. Really? Psych not so. So I don't know, I have to, can't do that. I had to wait till I cut the camera off. Um, I just tell you, folks are a trip. They're really a trip when it comes to 
buying food or doing something for an event. They just got a thought. They just got all these excuses. Either you with it or you ain't. You ain't gotta be flexing, flogging, putting on no show. You say is yay or nay. And if you be real, me personally, I don't have no problem feeding my friends. If somebody wanna come, and I, that's another thing. If I don't pay for something, like I said, I'm not a big eater. So if I don't contribute to the cause, I bring somebody. They can eat my food. I don't see no problem with it. But you got to folks standing in the background, the third party messengers, the haters, some of them. How they eat that, who they is up. Mind you, you better put a 12, a 12, a 12 pack in this deal. So don't be questioning about who, who eating what. Well, I thought I would just put out there about the prepping and the plan of uh, cooking out and stuff. It's like planning a sleep wedding reception. It's so much. It's like pulling teeth with folks. This is just a simple hamburger hot dog. You already know who's going to clean me. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Just bring your stuff and be done with it. you doing all this ring around the rose, baby. Ain't mean about the mold gets for it. ain't that serious. It, it ain't, it ain't anybody asking to cook no Thanksgiving, no Christmas, none of that tight dinners. Just a simple little cookout. What's so hard about that? Really? It's all so flexed up. I mean, mm -hmm. well, this is in Channel 99, it's still live. Talking about cookout madness. Signing out.